right? Like my haircut? Nice. Right? Let me just go ahead and pick up some a box of hats. So let me get going. Picking up a UPS box. UPS box. Or yeah. Do you know I care. Thank you. Have a good one. I'm doing some hats and once I get to the shop, we're gonna print this baby. So let's do this. The beauty about the shutdown is that the bus is free. Been going on the bus, doing deliveries. <laughs> hey, try to save some money there, but awesome. Free bus ride. Can beat that. Let me tell you, whenever you're in the Bronx, in the Bronx, this is the best pizzeria. It's located in Bedford Park between Jerome, but Jerome's Pizza and Pasta is one of the best pizzeria here in the Bronx. I have eaten a lot of pizza all over the place, but this one, oh man, this one's my favorite. Let's go inside. This is the owner of the parlor. Benny, how you doing, Benny? That's pizzeria, man, come to the Bronx. He just uh, made it much bigger because it was he had a little smaller spot, but now it's a beautiful, beautiful area. Pizza in the Bronx, right here. The Roman Bethel Park, like I said, I love that design up there. <laughs> some pizza oh man so this is what we are working with today the paper these are the hats are we doing today oh man they're like jean style I don't know if I'll be able I don't know if I'll be able to print across this that's gonna be the test today if I could print this but the hats they come from alternative nice look at the back they kind of feel like um, jean style, soft, it's cotton, but oh man, heavy duty. But that's the test today. See if I could print right through the seam. We're gonna test it out, but first, let me eat this pizza and then get to work. Mmm, mmm, oh man, hmm, wow, let's do this. All right. All nice and printed. This is gonna go on that beautiful orange shirt, white print. And when it comes to the hat, I did this on the bottom about two inches wide because if it doesn't go through the seam, then I'm gonna have to use this image here. And it's gonna go on the left corner of the hat. If not, if this one goes through, which is this is the same thing for the hat, but this is about four inches wide, which is gonna go right there. You notice? Right there. Real nice, it's gonna look, let's go through. I already have the hat chaff, the part where I'm gonna um, fit in the seam, so it won't be no lump. But now, let me expose this film, let me get the screens ready, let me start printing these shirts, get them out of the way, and then we're gonna do the experiment of the hat through the scene. So let's do this. The 
the screen is drying up, a little tip. When you're dealing with a client, you send them the mock-up, make sure you be specific on the size of the image. Make sure that they know the exact size of the image. You don't want to guess and say this is a 10 by 10 and they wanted it bigger or they wanted it smaller. Make sure they know the size of the image. So now, let me get the screen and set up and let's get printing. So in case you guys were wondering why I was using another screen, that screen is called the flattening screen. You use that when you're getting any um, fibrillation going on where the little hairs of the t-shirt are standing up. It looks horrible and that's when you require a flattened screen. The way it works is you heat it up, that first pass, take it to the flasher and the moment it comes out of the flasher, bring in the flattened screen and flatten those um, hairs out of the cotton out real nice and then it'll look something like this. Look how nice, no fibrillation, nice and crisp. Now, this one here, I don't know if you guys can see it, has fibrillation, like right here, standing up, little hair standing up, the M, you can see, right there. That's one thing that you gotta do when you um, Printing so it come out small because a lot of people deal with fibrillation and they having issues with it That's the best way to do it take a little flatten screen flatten it while the comes out of the flasher and you will have no issues So I just got my last shirt Now let's print these hats up So this is the first time I'm printing on a hat That's gonna go right through the seam in the middle of the hat. I usually only print the five panel hat, which there's no seam in the middle. This is the first time I'm doing it. I'm using it with the little gap. And let's just see, let's test this out. So now let's just take a little look at the job. Check it out. Pretty nice, man. Could print through the scene with that little gap. So, if you like this video, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. May God bless you all. Be grateful. Stay safe and peace out.